Have you ever wondered how a doctor starts a surgery? In particular, a heart stent surgery. How they prepare or what they do to prepare. Today, during my time of the speech, I would like to discuss different ways a heart stent is put in by a cardiologist. In my family, this is a very common surgery because heart disease is hereditary. Both my parents and grandparents have had at least two or three stents. About two weeks ago, I asked my dad what it felt like. And he said, since you're awake the whole time, it feels just like your heart is about to explode. But that's beside the point. His life was saved by a little mesh stent. So what is a heart stent anyway? A heart stent is a metal type mesh that is used to expand the artery wall, as you see in this figure C. Symptoms of needing this surgery are different for everyone. But the main ones are chest pain, jaw pain, back pain, and trouble breathing or even numbness. According to Joe Eaton, article author of Filthy Surgical Instruments, the first thing a cardiologist will do is open the tools out of their bag. Just that is making sure that everything is sterile. A heart stent surgery is quite interesting to think that there are only four tools in a couple of hours to heal yourself. The four tools, the most important out of the four, is the four and a half long catheter that is used to bring the deflated balloon, as you see right here, this is the catheter. The balloon is the blue part, and the stent is around it. The mesh tube is down here. This is what the air comes into the balloon. Now that the doctor has prepared and sterilized the tools, the doctor will now have to decide where to make the decision. incision. It all depends on symptoms that I stated earlier. According to the AHAS, or better known as the American Heart Association, there are three main places the doctor prefers to go through. They are at the neck, the groin, and the wrist. The size of the incision should also be the size of the bandage. Now, actual, the actual steps of the stent procedure. According to Understanding Coronary Artery Disease articles, the doctors start by hooking you up to a monitor. And did you know that you are fully awake for this? They then numb the incision and make the incision. The catheter is finished, is fished up through the arteries into the heart, as you see right here. In figure eight. When the catheter hits the buildup, the balloon, as you see here, air is passed through the balloon and it expands the balloon and the stent, causing it to crush the plaque. But you have to be quite careful because if any of this plaque were to break off into, your, into another artery, you can go up to your brain and you can cause a stroke and you will die. After the stent is in place, the balloon then starts to deflate. When the surgery is over, the catheter is then pulled out and the patient then will wake up a few hours later. In figure B, this is the actual stent that is pushed in, and the yellow around it is the plaque that has been crushed. I'm going to show you a video that is the actual procedure of this being done. The catheter is fished up through the heart, as I told you, and then this all around is the plaque. This is the catheter, the four and a half long thing, and then in just a second, the catheter, which is purple, and the balloon, will slide through and the doctor will press a certain button and it will cause it to expand and crush all this plaque. And as you see, the artery just inflates. And as the stent sticks to the wall, the balloon deflates and the catheter and balloon go out. I have now shown and explained how doctors put heart stents in and why they do that. If you or a family member has ever had or ever will need this procedure, you will actually have an idea of what the doctor is doing behind closed doors. Heart stents not only save my dad, but they will also save other people's lives. They make you appreciate what people in life take for granted daily.